Managing time takes practice. Ask yourself throughout the day, is this what I want or need to be doing right now? If yes, then keep doing it. Realistically and practically analyze your time. Do it for a week and review your results. Create a to-do list for your day. Do it at the end of the previous day. Mark items as A and B in priority. Set aside two hours right away each day to do the important A items and then do the B items in the afternoon. During your A time, let your calls go to voicemail, emails, texts, and updates wait so you can focus uninterrupted. At the end of your day, clean up your space and organize. That'll give you a clean start for the next day. Learn the difference between where can I help and where am I really needed. Experienced leaders learn that the last question is more important than the former. Delegate. Delegation is one of the most important skills for a leader to have. Effective delegation will free up a great deal of time for you. Use a do not disturb sign. During the early part of the day when you're attending to your important items, your A-list, hang this sign on the doorknob outside your door. Sort your email into categories, including read now, handle now, and read later. You'll quickly get a knack for sorting through and prioritizing. Have a place for everything and put everything in its place. That way you'll know where to find it when you need it. Another important outcome is that your people will see that you are somewhat organized rather than out of control. Schedule 10 minutes a day to do nothing. That time can be used to just sit and clear your mind. You'll end up thinking more clearly, resulting in more time in your day. Learn good meeting management skills. Meetings can become a terrible waste of time, so always keep an agenda and set time limits on all meetings.